Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Martha Rochelle and thank you for clicking on my video. In this tutorial, I'm going to be sharing with you my current foundation, contour, blush, and highlight routine. It has been over a year since I've done like my full routine, how I beat this face, okay? <laughs> And I also wanted to just say I'm so sorry for being a little MIA currently on YouTube. It is crazy busy this holiday season. I don't know about you, but I'm just, I'm busy all the time. It's kind of nuts. But anyways, guys, thank you again for clicking on this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before we get started. And without further ado, let's jump into the video. Alrighty guys, so kicking things off, this is kind of my current skin situation. My face has definitely cleared off a ton since I stopped torturing it with Halloween tutorials. But um, my skin has changed a little bit since the last video. Normally I have dry skin, but I'm actually starting to get a little bit more oily, which is just oh so fun. But I'm going to solve that by taking a little bit of Wet n Wild Mattifying Primer, and I'm just going to use that on my T-zone, basically where I get oily. So that's going to be my nose, um, the center of my forehead, my chin, and a little bit on the sides of my nose, like on the cheek area as well. But I do want to be a little bit glowy as well, kind of in the cheek and highlight area. So I'm just going to take a little bit of Becca Backlighting Primer and just do a little bit of that on the cheeks. I just think it really, really accentuates the highlight and contour and such when we get to that step. So I really, really like this, but I try not to use too much of it because I am kind of oily as of late. Alrighty, and then just to give me a little spritz just to kind of bring some life back to my skin since we've mattified it a little bit, I'm just going to take some of this Urban Decay Quick Fix Priming Spray just to add a little bit of moisture back into my face. I know that seems silly because I was saying I'm oily, which I am, but I'm also a little bit dry in certain places too, so I just like to add a little bit of moisture. Now I'm going to be taking Wet n Wild. Um, this is their Photo Focus Foundation, I believe in the shade Nude Ivory. Again, everything will be listed in the description box down below in case you guys are interested. There's always products listed down there. But I'm just going to be adding a little bit of this, a little bit. Okay, I know this looks like a lot of foundation, but this is a very, very light amount, I promise you. I just dipped into the bottle once, and then that's what went on my face, whatever came off the wand. Um, so I've really been liking this technique of just using um, a lighter amount of foundation, and then going a little bit heavier with concealer. This just seems to be the most flattering for my skin. Um, but I'm just going to dot that all over my face like you saw, and then we're going to go ahead and buff that out with a beauty sponge. This is what I prefer to use. I feel like it gives the best finish. Um, buffing brushes just don't really work that great for me especially with this foundation I don't know what it is they just don't always look that great for me now picking up the matching wet n wild concealer I believe this one is in the shade light we're gonna be going in kind of the inner corner of my under eye area notice that I am taking it up pretty far on the under eye just because I had a little bit of fallout from the shadow I mean can we talk about the eye look for just a second I mean come on it's kind of everything <laughs> And then we're also going to apply some concealer to my chin. We're going to kind of conceal a little blemish there. And then we'll also apply it to the center of the forehead and the bridge of the nose. And we'll go ahead and blend it out. So something new I've been doing here, as you guys can see, I'm going to be using a blending brush from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe brush collection. I honestly do not remember what the brush number is off the top of my head, but again, everything will be listed down below. But I'm just preferring this as of late, so I really like to take this brush and just kind of stipple everything out, blend everything out, make sure it looks nice and seamless. And then I go back in with my beauty sponge once more just to kind of get any areas that the brush couldn't. But I just think this creates that beautiful, like, flawless air airbrushed finish. I just really, really like the finish overall. So I've really been loving this technique. And yes, I totally learned this from Amanda Ensing. She's kind of the queen of skin, not gonna lie. <laughs> but I'm just gonna take that beauty sponge, like I said, blend that out, and then we will move on to setting. You guys know I've been loving this Cover FX Translucent Setting Powder. It was on clearance for like seven bucks, so I was like, whatever, we'll try it. And it has become one of my favorite setting powders. I absolutely love this. Um, like I say in all my videos, though, that I've been using it, it does have a little bit of flashback, so be careful. Um, but I'm just going to tap out my under eyes, really make sure we get any, like, creasage out. And then I'm just going to set with a tiny amount of this powder. You honestly don't need much because it does a really good job of setting. But I'm just going to take that under the eyes, and then we will move on to the rest of the face. Yes. 
Now I'm gonna be taking the Tardis Pro Glow Palette. Yes, I still have this. It is a holy grail for me. And I'm gonna be taking a smaller brush with that contour slash bronzer. And I'm just gonna be really, really chiseling out these cheeks. So I kind of do that little like fish face and just really, really emphasize those cheekbones. I like this brush because it's a little bit more condensed. It's a little bit smaller. So I feel like I can get a really preci precise contour in bronze. So I go in kind of heavy with the product with this brush to begin with, just so we get a really nice chiseled look. And then you guys will also see me take a slightly bigger, well, a lot bigger, I'll say, um, bronzing brush and it doesn't have any extra product on it. I just kind of go over the spots where I've bronzed and contoured just to kind of blend it out a little bit. Um, I don't like to use this brush solely to bronze anymore just because it can make me look a little too muddy. Um, and then just to kind of clean up that um, cheekbone and chisel out a little bit more, I'm using the same translucent setting powder and just going in with a defining brush also from Morphe. And just, again, like I said, chiseling that out, making sure it's really like super chiseled and cut in severe. <laughs> And then you know me, even though I'm not a blush gal, I gotta add a little bit of blush. So this is just a Tarte um, Amazonian clay blush. And I'm just gonna be kind of dashing this on the apples of my cheekbones and sweeping it outward. Not much has changed there. I don't know that I'll ever be a blush girl, to be really honest. If I felt like my look looked complete without it, I honestly probably wouldn't even do it. <laughs> Now mixing these two colors from the Tardis Pro Go palette, I'm noticing a lot of people highlight kind of from this angle. That's gonna make your highlight look really, really blocky. You're gonna wanna make sure you angle your wrist a little bit, kind of like this. What an attractive face I'm making. It's just gonna help that highlight look a little bit more in quotations, natural, but of course still beaming for the gods. Um, but just a little tip for you guys, you don't want your highlight to look blocky. You want it to be intense, of course, but not blocky. And I'm just gonna highlight my cheekbones, tip of my nose, bridge of my nose, and of course the cupid's bow, basically just the high points of my face, and then just kind of blend everything out with a big blending brush. For final touches on the face, I'm just gonna set my face with a little bit of Wet n Wild. Man, should have just been a Wet n Wild tutorial. <laughs> uh, setting spray, and then this is something new as well. I just take the beauty sponge. It's not really damp anymore, but I just kind of blend that setting spray in really, really slightly with just a really light hand. But I feel like it just sets my face that much better. And now we're gonna be pulling a Desi Perkins trick. I have a couple little tiny blemish blemishes, so I'm just gonna cover them with just a brown um, eyeliner pencil. And I'm just gonna kinda draw some you know, fake freckles on because I can't get over that trend. I'm never gonna get over it, it's too cute. Um, but I'm just gonna draw those and kinda conceal some of those blemishes as well. Um, but after that, guys, this look is complete. Alrighty guys, and that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button down below before you leave. It would mean a lot to me. Until next time guys, I will catch you in the next video.